how y'all doing? So I heard about Michael Jackson estate thinking about selling half of his catalog to Sony Music. They said it's pushing a billion dollars, and they would say half of it. I'm not a big fan of that because I can't stand Sony Music. I know that they're a slave ship, just like all the rest of them plantations. And I don't think Michael Jackson fought long and hard to give his catalog even half to them. Um, but that kind of money, a lot of artists are doing it. There's no money in these days unless you have it in TV commercials or you have it in film. But the record sale game, the stream game, the stream game, you got to do so many streams to break a dollar that it's not even worth it anymore. Because it's basically like the way the old 15 cent music club circuit used to work when you would buy uh, 15 C's for like a penny and pay shipping and handling for those records for the uh, Columbia House or BMG. But there wasn't much for the artists, you know. So it's just, um, you understood why Garth Brooks hated to use record stores and all that because the profit turnaround was a trip. Didn't help artists. Uh, and also, Michael Jackson's nephew, Jafar, is going to be portraying him in a biopic. Antonio Figua is going to be directing. I got mixed emotions about it. I don't know. I, I, Jaf Jafar looks like his uncle. He looks like his daddy, Jermaine, but he looks like his uncle. But, I mean, how do you, you know, there's a lot of complexities. There's the genius greatness of Michael Jackson, the dominance, the barrier, bro barrier breaker. And then there's the personal size with how they go about that. And are they going to keep it the pro-blackness of Michael, which a lot of people don't talk about because they trip on his skin or they trip on this and that. But he was a brother. If you notice how he handled his business and the things that he did, he was a brother. There's no doubt about it. If you under, under, underline the belly, you understand it. But uh, the fact that the catalog half a state to go back to Sony would be an insult. Um because they were racist against him, the sabotage real, the invincible thing with Ty Matola's racist behind. Michael owned his masters. He had rights. He was going to be a free agent too. And they hated the fact that he made smart business decisions. I don't care what nobody says. You just watch the Malcolm X movie, that one scene when that cop says he's got too much power. Black person, intelligent, strong-willed, determined, and is a movement, oh, they got to take them out. They got to take them out. Because you go from a Jimi Hendrix to a Michael Jackson to a Tupac Shakur. They got to take them out. Got to take them out. You could throw Bob Marlin in there, too. There's a lot of stuff about that, but uh, it's just the reality that his impact is felt worldwide. And so... As long as his family gets the bulk of the money and then it's handled the way it's supposed to be. But the fact that money would go back to Sony would be a slap in the face. Because he went on those he went on his uh, speeches against them and spoke about how the industry works and how racist it was. And it's true. It's true. And they every now and then, when they feel compelled, they'll come with a smear campaign or leaving them land and go get some uh, get some um flunky like Oprah or somebody to diss him and a few people to sit there and tell lies and regurgitate stuff to stir the pot. But then when they come to come with the receipts, it ain't nothing there. There wasn't nothing there. He had the FBI, he had the all agents all on him. They never found nothing. They hated him. America hated Michael Jackson. They turned on him. And he didn't know he no longer had a country. And he had broken barriers and got love and respect everywhere else. Well, I'd say except in England because they called him Wacko Jack on. That was racist too. So you saw places, but he went places where he, you know, had to read what he did. He created and he made modern music. He made it. When I say made modern music, I'm talking about well, hip hop. I'm talking about a lot of pop acts, a lot of acts with MTV and beyond. Not just the videos, but he was a young America's success story, the way he flipped the script. And as also as an artist and as a businessman, because as an artist, he was battling himself in different genres. And as a businessman, well, buying the Beatles catalog, which they hated him for. See, he has two catalogs and his masters and his publishing. When you look at Michael Jackson's story, <laughs> you're looking at this cat like, that is gangster. When you think about it, publishing and masters. Not bad for a kid from Gary, Indiana, from the hood. And you saw he turned out, you know, 
But that's the kind of knowledge that he got. He followed in the fine traditions of the Sam Cooks and of the Ray Charles and people and Barry Whites and people understood that. The impact of having a say about your business, but it comes with a cost. But I hope they don't sell it back to Sony. That would be um that would be sad. Cause Sony did nothing but a smear campaign against him. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands, keep your mind clear, watch out for nothing, share the video if you want to, and uh yeah, I'm not really feeling that they even sell half of it. Sony doesn't deserve the half. They need to be paying his family even more. I'm out.